Okay, well, this continues to be one of the more fascinating projects I've done in a while. And it, it was so interesting how it started out with that one video from Granddad that spun me off in a really interesting direction. But uh, this is the first one I made here. I 3D printed it. And that was so successful. I thought, you know what, I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to take it apart. And I'm going to replicate it. And that's what I did here is I replicated it. And uh, it didn't take that long. A few hours to build the parts and then bend up these things. And uh, as I did the project, as I progressed, it got better and better and better. And that's the thing that was kind of really fascinating about this is as I progressed in the project, I learned how to make the parts more precise. I learned more about the timing of the thing and then how to do what I really wanted to do in the first place, which was make an air pump out of it. And um, what was most fascinating today was instead of making a, an air pump, it was a vacuum pump. It actually pumped air into the system here, the way I'm running it here, but uh, very, very weak, which I knew it was going to be. But what I've done here is I put magnets on the wheel, and then I have a little driver here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it up on the driver, and then I'm going to release the air in this glove, and it's going to make it go really fast, and then it's going to start pumping the glove down and make a vacuum into the pump, into the glove. Let me turn this on. I'll show you how it works. Um, not much air in the glove left. But let me turn this on here. Okay, and there's, there's the thing running electronically. Now I'm going to release the air in the glove. There it speeds up. Now it's going to start taking the remaining air out of the glove. Move this a little bit better here. And what it's doing now, it's sucking the remaining air right out of the glove. And that's the vacuum pump that I've built here. The way these valves work here, I thought it was going to blow air back out, but what it's doing, and if you think about it, that's what it, it is, is it's, it's sucking the air. By powering this, I'm sucking the air in. Whatever's left in this glove is now being sucked right on into that machine. Let's see how it's sucking the air right into it. And so I have accomplished what I initially set out to do was to make an air pump out of this device and it was a ball um, actuated thing and that was the whole thing that got me going on this was to be able to use a ball for the pistons and be able to make um, an air engine using balls for the pistons see it's sucking all the air right out of that thing so what I've done by powering this is I made a vacuum pump out of it. That's a 4 farad super cap running on a very fine, uh, I think it's a 34 gauge wire coil. I don't know, it's maybe 5 minutes or something like that on that super cap, but it was enough to show this uh, effect of being able to pump air using that design. Anyway, that's the, where I'm at with this little project that turned out to be really, really interesting. And the 3D printing part of it, uh, every time you do a 3D print project, you learn more and more and more. Very valuable in all aspects. Thanks for watching.